Well, hello, and I am here back again because I want to introduce to you a brand new powerful feature that we have released. So everybody by this point should be familiar with PygonBot 9.0. If you're not familiar with, you know, the base application of PygonBot, I do encourage you to go check out those other videos because this video today is about the brand new email module that we've released. A lot of you guys have been really excited about this module and I'm here to tell you all about it tonight. So let's get started right away. I don't want to waste any time on this. Uh, in order to open the email module all you have to do is click that email module button and you'll notice this pop-up of the email module right from the start as you can see we have a lot of features packed into this so I want to go over all these different features because I know a lot of you guys are really ex excited about what this is going to be able to do for your marketing to get started right away um, as you can see the email module uh, has the ability to connect to any SMTP account that you would like to in order for the emails to be sent out uh, you could use free email SMTP like Gmail uh, Yahoo Hotmail etc uh, or you could use your own custom domains that you may have in the hosting that you're using shared or dedicated hosting whatever that may be now some of these SMTP solutions may be better than others uh, for example obviously hosting your own solution you're gonna have the ability to send more emails and won't have as many limitations as using free email services like Gmail for example which limits you to only sending 500 emails per day but you know obviously there are also uh, third-party SMTP solutions uh, that you can use um, for example like SendGrid or MailChimp which allow you to send thousands of emails out every single day that you can connect this to and for those of you that um, want to be able to use multiple SMTP accounts in order to connect your email to our email module there is the ability right here to uh, uh, click this button and load up a file a text file which contains all your various SMTP accounts and uh, you should see on the screen now the formatting uh, that the file your text file needs to be each SMTP account needs to be on its own separate line so be sure that you do that and you follow the correct formatting if you are going to be using multiple SMTP accounts so what does this module allow you to do this module allows you to email people uh, or businesses uh, from various email lists that you may have. Maybe you acquired these lists by using PygonBot to harvest data from different websites in a niche or maybe it's just a generalized list that you've harvested data from all around the web using PygonBot. You can automatically import these lists or if you have your own list on your computer um, you can also uh, upload that file to this email module you'll notice that this uh, button here where it says import emails uh, is very simple straightforward um, when you click on that you can choose to import emails which would be emails that are processed on your own computer in some file somewhere that you would choose and upload again it, it files need to be text files and then also you have an option here to import the emails uh, directly from PygonBot itself which it has harvested so pretty cool stuff now one of the coolest things about our email module is that there is also a list cleaning feature so you can enter uh, essentially any strings or lines of emails that you don't want to accept so for example if you wanted to exclude emails which contain for example the string webmaster at you would just simply type in the string that you want to include right there and then whenever you are uploading the list by clicking this button it's going to automatically remove any of those strings We've also included a pre-list of 
very common spam trap strings that you may encounter in different lists from harvesting. Obviously you want to remove those by clicking the uh, checkbox here and you can see that there's a string of various uh, spam traps or honey pots as you know some people call them. Now there's nothing illegal about bulk mailing but the problem is is when you get into these spam traps you run into issues where like your IP address or your domain name uh, can uh, get blacklisted. So to help avoid that you would probably most likely want to choose the option to remove common spam trap strings uh, that way you're avoiding some of these spam filters out there uh, they're constantly creating lots of different uh, filters out there so you know you may find additional uh, strings out there or uh, additional honey pots that you encounter and you can also include this in there as well so it's a pretty cool feature if your list uh, contains um, duplicates you want to make sure that you're able to remove those duplicates you don't want to have to send an email out to you know the same person two or three times you'll probably most likely want to make sure you check that remove duplicates uh, option as well that's the sum of it once you checked your options here of how you're going to import your list either by importing the emails from your computer or importing them from the Pygon bot harvesting campaign itself then you'll check these two boxes here and click upload list I don't actually have a list I'm gonna upload right now but uh, that would be the the process that you'd want to take once your list is uploaded you'll notice that uh, we have a few additional features that you can implement application itself supports either a text email which is pretty cool pretty straightforward I think everybody knows how that is there's no fancy designs or formatting to it uh, but you can simply compose a text email as well the uh, module also includes the ability and supports uh, HTML emails. Now we've included a sample email here that you can really easily import just by clicking the sample email button option and this is just kind of a sample HTML email that we've put together for you. Uh, you don't have to use ours if you're familiar with HTML you can create your own or if you find other HTML templates you can grab the code from that and you can just paste it in this box here obviously um, edited you know for the content that you want into your email now when you have your HTML put together you can view what this is going to look like for other people um, just by clicking the view email and as you can see in our sample we've put together a very very simple always as I said create your own you could use this change the wording change the emails whatever you want we do have plans here in future updates that will be coming out really soon to include several templates for you to choose from and go through uh, which will be a really cool feature and help out a lot of people look forward to those coming through here really soon the email module also includes the ability to spin data within the subject line and as well as the body as well. So you can, if you're familiar with what spin text is, spin text is essentially a coded formatting of uh, data that gets inputted through emails or forms or whatever it may be where you can have a variation of information that's sent out to the people that you're contacting or emailing. For example, here would be an example of spun text line. You would have like, for example, let's say hi, or hey, or good day. And that would be the formatting of spin text, essentially. You can create lots of different variations and it's gonna randomly choose and pick you know one of the variations to insert into the message or the the subject line of the uh, email that you're sending out so that's a really really cool feature now some of you may be familiar with the custom short code tags uh, feature in PygonBot itself uh, that uh, we added last November in 2016 where you can essentially create your own short codes uh, that you input into it and you do that by creating a CSV file and then you have your uh, column A 
would contain like URLs that are going to be in the list that you're contacting and then all the other columns will contain like your short, short codes. There was a little short code help link here that went to a video that explained it really clearly. Well, we also included that exact same video right here and we will be making another video to update it specifically for this link in the email module. We just haven't gotten to it yet but the creation of short codes for the email module works exactly the same way as the one for the contact forms except you're using emails in your column A as the reference point for the data the custom data that you're going to have inserted into your message so for example let's say you wanted to insert the person you're emailing's first name you would obviously create a custom short code as outlined in the tutorial video here um, which would show you uh, or excuse me which would input his name into the message when his email was being sent out to him so that's a really cool feature to have in here um, one of the other features that you can notice here is that it has the ability uh, for you to control how many emails that it sends out per minute uh, we have limited this to uh, just 60 per minute but uh, 60 per minute turns into thousands within an hour so uh, it is really fast really powerful um, and also if you upload multiple SMTP accounts uh, to send the email through uh, you have the ability to control how often those SMTP accounts rotate through so let's say maybe you have the uh, module sending uh, 60 emails per minute and then you have it rotating SMTP accounts every uh, 120 uh, emails that are sent it's going to rotate through to a new account also save your settings in the email module uh, by just clicking save settings it will save a specialized formatted uh, text file that will save all the different credentials that you have in here like your SMTP accounts your actual email your subject line etc um, and then whenever you open the email module you're able just to hit load settings you can choose that file and then it, this data would be automatically populated um, whenever you are connecting your SMTP accounts um, you'll see here the ability to uh, test that account by sending one test email and if there's some type of authentication problem then it's going to give you an error here saying that there's some type of authentication problem uh, if it says email sent successfully then obviously go check your email inbox and see if you see that email in that inbox and it should come through really quickly I, I do know that some of the free email services like Gmail for example if you connect that SMTP account to this um, you're gonna have to authorize that process in Gmail so when you click to test the email and it's trying to access access to SMTP Gmail is going to send you an email or an alert uh, telling you that uh, you were accessing this through a third-party application and ask your permission uh, to allow that to be sent so some of the other free email services are just like that if you're using your own hosting solutions obviously you're going to be able to control that or if you're using a third-party SMTP service that you've signed up for these things shouldn't be an issue at all other feature that we have in here as well uh, is obviously to generate your reports you can generate the reports for the emails that were sent successfully sent you can export out your failed email list and you can also export out a cleaned email list so let's say you were you didn't even want to send emails for example and you just wanted to clean your email list you can use this application really simply to upload your emails uh, select the common the common spam trap strings and remove duplicates add any other additional strings that you may want hit upload list then you're gonna see in this section the number of emails that were cleaned out and then you could go to the report for export clean email list and hit generate report 
So, again, as a summary and a wrap up, Pygon Bot just got more powerful than what it already has been for the last four years. It is growing the amount of things that you're able to do with this, the amount of data, the amount of lead generation that companies are producing by using this application just speaks for itself. So if you haven't given it a, a shot yet, there is a free demo available on the Pygon Bot website at https uh, forward slash forward slash pygonbot.com. And you can go there, get your free de demo of the application. Um, it is limited. It doesn't have some of the features in there like the email module, but it's definitely going to let you give, you give you the ability to feel like you're test driving uh, the Ferrari here that's sitting right in front of you. Also, if you want to pick up the full version, you can do that simply by one of the sign-up op offers on the website itself. You can get that into your hands today and start boosting your website traffic, your SEO, and make tons of more sales and generate tons of leads for your business. Anyways, you guys keep on keeping on and we'll see you in the next video.